Welcome to the video for Music Library Research Methods, Music Dictionaries and Encyclopedias. In this video, we will discuss several kinds of music dictionaries, with particular focus on the Newgrove Dictionary of Music and Musicians. We'll also be looking at how to locate these dictionaries and encyclopedias in the library. When looking for background information on a research topic, it's a good idea to start with the music dictionary or encyclopedia. This can give you background information on particular people, dates, or ideas associated with your research topic. These reference sources can also help you to see where your topic may be too broad or too narrow for the assignment at hand. You'll also find some really useful tools in these reference sources. Some of them contain composers' works lists or extensive bibliographies that can lead you to further research on your topic. A dictionary or encyclopedia can be defined as an alphabetical arrangement of entries, either on a person, a topic, or a term. Dictionaries are classified as general when they include all three types of entries in one source. The standard English language encyclopedia is the New Grove Dictionary of Music and Musicians. Respected for its authority, the Grove Dictionary was, was first published in 1879. Today, the New Grove exists both as a 29-volume set in print and as an online searchable reference resource called Grove Music Online. Grove Music Online is one of several reference sources included in the Oxford Music Online Gateway, an online portal that also includes the Oxford Dictionary of Music, the Oxford Companion to Music, the Grove Dictionary of Musical Instruments, and the Grove Dictionary of American Music. Grove Music Online includes regular updates three times per year, making its contents more up-to-date than its print counterpart. Use the entry date stamps to verify when each article was last updated. Most entries in the New Grove contain a number of useful features including a bibliography and a works list. The New Grove also contains a number of illustrations, 3D models of instruments, and sound files related to musical examples. To access the New Grove in print, visit the reference section in the Education and Music Library where it is located under this call number. To access the online version, begin by going to the library webpage at library.usask.ca. Make sure the Catalog tab is selected and search for Grove Music Online. From here, it should be the first resource in the list. And just click on the links that say Connect. Use the search box in the upper right hand corner of the page to search either for a person, a topic, or a term. I'm going to search for Beethoven in this case. I'm going to choose the first item in the list here and just verify that the source is from Grove Music Online. As you can see this is quite an extensive article. It includes a lot of useful information. Using the article contents, you can see that it includes sections on Beethoven's life divided up by time period and also by compositional period. And there's lots of other information here as well. If you want to see examples of how to cite this article, you can click on the Cite button here on the upper right hand side of the page. Here it gives us examples in various formats, including Chicago format. Even though these examples are included, they will still need to be formatted for inclusion in your bibliography. For example, you'll need to invert the names in order to keep the formatting correct for Chicago style. You want to make sure when you're citing these Grove articles that you include the name of the author and the name of the article itself in addition to information about the publication. Each composer entry in Grove will have a works list and it will be either be linked at the top of the page here or under the article contents. Under this link you will find listings of complete works editions, catalogs, and then a comprehensive list of all the composer's compositions. There are a couple ways to navigate the works list in order to find a particular piece. In many cases the works are organized by genre along the left hand side of the page. Another way to find a particular piece in a long works list is to use the Control F function on your computer and then just search by uh, composition title or opus number. So if I'm looking for Piano Sonata Opus 10, 
number one, I could look under the piano sonatas heading on the left hand side, or I could do a control F and search for 10 1 and here it is in the list. In the works list you're going to find important information about each piece of music including the opus number or catalog number, an authorized title, key of composition, dates of composition and first performance, the first date of publication, dedications and remarks, and references to the location of the work in the composer's complete or critical edition. You may want to use the information about the dates of composition to connect the work with the composer's life at that time. So let's say I'm interested in learning more about what was going on in Beethoven's life at the time that he composed this work, Opus 10 Number 1. I'm going to take a look at the composition dates, 1795 to 1797. Then I'll go back to the main article and find that period in his life to do some more reading. The information found in this section may give me more information about how Beethoven's compositions were influenced by what was going on in his life or how his compositional style was changing at that time. Another useful feature in the entries in Grove Music Online are the bibliographies, which will point you to further research. You can find the bibliography by going to the article page and then scrolling down through the article contents. Often the bibliographies are arranged by format or topic. So for example, if I'm interested in finding more information about Beethoven's piano music, I can look under the section Studies of the Works and find a section on his piano music. Use the yellow Find It button to see if we have this item in the library or a library database. While Grove is the largest and most comprehensive reference source for music, there are many more specialized dictionaries available in the library and online. Dictionaries devoted to the music and musicians of a single country are classed in ML101. These are called national dictionaries. Some examples include the New Grove Dictionary of American Music and the Encyclopedia of Music in Canada, although there are many others on the shelf. Subject dictionaries cover a number of areas including musical genres and instruments. You'll find these titles classed in ML 102. Biographical dictionaries are classed in ML 105 through to ML 107 and provide biographical information about musicians, composers, and others in the profession. Two important works in this area are the Baker's Biographical Dictionary of Musicians, which includes biographies of classical, jazz, and popular performers, in six print volumes. The International Who's Who in Classical Music contains over 8,000 entries for living classical musicians. Term dictionaries are classed in ML 108 through to 109. In this section you'll find resources on standard terminology and for the pronunciation and translation of musical terms. There are two ways that you can browse these sections of dictionaries. Either you can go into the library stacks in the Education and Music Library, or you can do a search in the library catalog. Navigate to the library homepage at library.usask.ca. Select LC call number from the drop-down menu, and just enter the call number that you want to search for. In this case, I've entered ML 108 to look for the term dictionaries. This takes me to a complete list of all library holdings in this area, and they are arranged in call number order. As you can see, we have 22 items under this call number heading. This concludes our video on dictionaries and encyclopedias in the music library. Today we've covered general dictionaries and encyclopedias, some of the features of the New Grove Dictionary of Music and Musicians, a look at the specialized dictionaries in the library, including those on nationality, subject, biography, and terminology, and how to browse the library catalog by call number online.